Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kavi Pratt and in this video I want to share with you my skincare routine and in no way shape or form am I a professional but during COVID I you know started to dabble and wanted to take better care of my skin as somebody who never took care of his skin so I've been very into the Korean beauty and you know a little bit of La Roche Posay in here and there so I want to share with you what I do to make my skin look like this. Cleansing your face is extremely important. When I'm wearing makeup, I tend to double cleanse. So I will use an oil cleanser, then I will go in with another cleanser. So when I'm not, this is what I use. I use the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I love this, I swear by it. I have very dry skin and it doesn't dry me up. It tends to keep it hydrated and plump and I really enjoy using this. So I do use a vitamin C serum. This is a pure vitamin C by Som by Me. It's a Korean beauty vitamin C. I enjoy using it. Vitamin C is really good for brightening the skin, um, getting rid of dark marks and hyperpigmentation, but you have to be very careful and use it with a sunscreen. Vitamin C can tend to be unstable, so look to get one with a niacinamide or a vitamin E base. Next, I will go in with something hydrating. So I do go in with a snail mucin which is from Corsarex and this is the advanced snail mucin power essence I love this and I swear by it you can tell from the texture it's it's very I hope you can see that it's very gooey I really really enjoy it and it's really good for hydrating the skin and keeping it nice and plump and beautiful as we like to be After that, I will go in. I have my serums here from, what is this, House of Joseon. There's different serums in here. This is like a starter pack, which gives you like four of each. So you have four of each, little 10 milligram droppers, and it has different ones. So you have here, we have the deep serum with alpha albutin, which is one of my favorites. Um, we have the ginseng calming one and here we also have another revive serum with ginseng and snail mucin and lastly we have the glow serum this is my absolute favorite with propolis and niacinamide after that I will go in with an eye cream eye creams are normally overpriced face creams you know, I'm gonna tell you that for real. But this one is amazing because it has a retinol, which helps with brightening under the eye, which helps with your dark circles. And a lot of them don't do that. They're just overpriced face creams. But I do swear by this, it's by Mary May. It's definitely Korean, Korean skincare as always. Not all of them are, but most of them are Korean skincare. I swear by this, I love it. I've definitely seen a huge improvement underneath my eyes. And I would definitely, definitely, absolutely recommend this. After my eye cream and my serums, I do go in with my Corsair X Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Intensive Cream, right? I love this. For somebody with dry skin, it gives me that moisture. It moisturizes my skin well. It gives me hydration, which gives me plumpness, which makes me look youthful and beautiful for longer. Love it. Swear by that. If you do not use a sunscreen after that, all of this skincare is completely irrelevant. There's no point in doing it. So you have to go in with a sunscreen. So I go in, the, I go in with a HelioCare 360 sunscreen protector. I put a generous amount all over my face, neck and decolletage to make sure that everything stays in place. I do not get any skin damage. And yeah, I stay younger for longer. During my nighttime routine, right after my cleanser, I will go in with my glycolic acid from The Ordinary. I love this. This is an exfoliant, which is a deep cleanse. It tends to exfoliate your skin from the inside. It's a chemical exfoliant. So I would use it maybe three times a week, not every day, because it's got alpha hydroxy, which can make your skin very sensitive. And only at night. I would definitely recommend only using it at night. But I love this. It's good for dark marks 
Also, you can use it under your underarms or your knees or your inner thighs if you have any dark areas or problems with hyperpigmentation. It will help to tackle those areas over time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you like this content, you know, share it with a friend and we'll see you back next week.